To come out transgender is horribly difficult. And being transgender is, is about the bravest thing you can do. Did with she deserve the award? Yes. Why are we mainstreaming delusion? Uh, it's not delusion. Why, why not would delusion. you call it delusion? Because Bruce, Caitlyn Jenner, I'll call him Caitlyn Jenner. No, because it's that's her. The, You're not being polite to the pronoun. Because disrespect. It, okay, forget about the disrespect. Facts don't care about your feelings. It turns out that every chromosome, every cell in Caitlyn Jenner's body is male with the exception of some of his sperm cells. You it turns out that his brain structure is male. Wait, I need it to... turns out that he still has all of his male appendages. But How this... he feels on the inside is irrelevant but... to the question of his biological sex. I'm not, I don't Zoe... agree with that. I'm not on that train. <laughs> I'm not on that train. <laughs> she she wants spoke. to be you called to she. I'm going to call her she. In terms of the science behind gender uh, dysphoria, you, you're very familiar with that, Zoe. Very familiar. It's, it's not about the chromosome. Excuse me, the chromosomes within we our nuclei. We both know nuclei. Yeah, chromosomes go ahead. don't necessarily mean you're male or female. Gender. With gender, Gender of identity. Go ahead. No, so. Especially, what, but even so, you have a thing like Kleinfelter's syndrome. So you don't know what you're talking about. You're not educated on genetics. Was you supposed to discuss the genetics or well, no? Well, no, what no. What are your genetics? I, I, so I'd stay away from the genetics and back to the brain scans. You cut that out now or you'll go home in an ambulance. Yeah, that seems mildly inappropriate for a political discussion. No, I know. Well, yeah. but wait. To be fair, but to you, be, but to be fair, wait. But to be you fair, violence, you but, are, but to be you fair, you're being, actually being hey guys, kind of rude. You're and that, no, 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 and, and no, that's no, no. not fair. I'm sorry. It's not rude to say that someone who is biologically a male a is a male. Apparently, there is something called ponying that happens. I guess this is in New Orleans, which apparently is a weird place. Uh, and um, let's just play it because there are, are very few words that can describe what's happening here. People compete in events and classes just the same as real horses. This is a pony fetish festival. Get it! Get it! Yeah, yeah, These pony play yeah, hobbyists yeah, in New Orleans, Louisiana These dress up just like a, and compete like a in show jumping event. events dressed from head to toe in horse gear. Oh. Okay, so... <laughs> 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 um, yeah, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. Can we, who are we to judge? Can we judge? And who are we to say that these people ha are not actual ponies? That's the real question. They've entered the pony space. They are now ponies. Understand the reality of the pony space. Respect the pony space. And if you see one of these ponies on the street, out of the goodness of your heart, give them a carrot and a lump of sugar. What is your formal education background? Uh, so I guess uh, a lot of people don't know what your undergraduate degree is in. Uh, so I was at uh, UCLA in political science and then uh, Harvard Law School. Okay. Uh, so you don't have, uh, you wouldn't consider yourself an expert in sociology? I, I mean, I, I don't consider sociology a particularly expert field, but go ahead. <laughs> what I'm getting at is that you're not considered an expert in sociology, psychology, uh, gender studies, lesbian dance theory, uh, many of these things that you've brought up tonight. Uh, yeah. I know a lot more about all those others than lesbian dance theory. As far as, if you want to take issue with the argument, I would urge you not to use the argument from authority, which is somebody has a PhD by their name, they know what they're talking about. Right. No, I'm not That's a dumb argument. I don't need a, a seven-year degree in sociology to no bullshit when I hear it. They're also offering kind of an unqualified opinion on a lot of these topics. See, again, you're just making the argument from authority. I don't think slapping a PhD from Ferris State next to your name makes you an expert in all things in the field in which you propose to speak. Okay, the fact is that either my argument's good or my argument's bad. Citing to my credentials is a really bad way of making an argument. It's like the, it's actually the equivalent of, it's so funny, when people do this, it's the equivalent of actually a religious person saying, citing to the Bible for an argument. I'm a very religious person, right? I mean, see this? It's the yarmulke, okay? I'm a religious person, okay? I never cite to the Bible. The reason I don't cite to the Bible is because that's an argument from authority. Okay, you may not believe the authority to which I'm citing. I don't believe the authority to which you're citing. So you're going to have to make me an argument as to what I'm saying that's wrong instead of just saying I don't have the properly enumerated degree from the institution of your choice. I'm merely citing academia. Uh, if you haven't done any significant study or any type of educational, uh, you haven't you know, established yourself as a PhD or a doctor in any of these programs, so how can you make a, a qualified opinion on any of these topics is my question because I have read the studies and I can have an opinion on them. And that's your opinion and mine was just stated, so thank you. Yes, that was my opinion. <laughs> just declaring things right does not make them appear. What makes more things appear is a market-based system that creates more doctors, that creates more medical care, that creates more incentive for people to join up. It is better to treat things as goods than as rights because declaring something a right just means that you have the right to steal it from me.
The basic name trickle-down economics is not something that any conservative even proposed. It's a leftist revision of what economics actually is, because you're not giving me the money. It was my money in the first place, created through voluntary transactions that I had with others. I've not stolen money from, either, from anyone, neither have you. And the idea that money has to be forcibly taken from you and handed to somebody at the bottom end of the economic spectrum to somehow jog the economy, that may jog McDonald's, but is not going to jog all of the creation of the products and services that make all of our lives much better today than they were 30 years ago in terms of the stuff we have access to. When you say money in politics is bad, again I ask you, Buddy Romer gave you $4 million to start TYT. What did he expect in return? Should he not have given you money? Was the money not speech? It was just money, after all. It's just like a hooker, I assume. So are you the prostitute? How did this work? There's many things you can't do with your money. And one of those should be bribing politicians, but we made it legal. Chank. So I'm curious what your opinion on that is. So, okay, do you so, think that they're just golly shucks? So, uh, Chank, they just mean well? And Chank, you're a lawyer, so you know that bribery requires two parties to the bribe. If I give money to a politician, there must be something in return. If there is no quid pro quo, there is no bribery. You think there's nothing in return? Well, you have you to think the politicians don't no, do those I think, favors? I think, no, I think very often there is something in return. But I want you to point me to the things that are in return, not just say that all spending on politics ought to be forbidden except for the Young Turks. Young Turks is super successful. We have 80 million uniques. It's, it's wonderful. Do you think Thank Bernie you. Sanders would care more if you gave him $10,000 or if you dedicated your entire network to kissing his ass for an election cycle? <laughs> privilege when you basically just said that trans people aren't valid. They're not a thing. They're just girls pretending to be boys or boys pretending to be girls. Yeah. Okay. Like, okay. Oh, someone's excited. Okay. <laughs> but gender is a completely different thing. No, gender is not disconnected from sex. So. It's not completely disconnected, but it's still a cultural thing. It's still from society. It's okay. In no, it is not in the mind. Okay. You're not a man if you think you're a man. And I didn't say pretending. Or if I did, I shouldn't have said pretending. Let me amend. You said playing. Okay, I said a boy who thinks he's a girl. That's the, the usual phraseology I use. Not playing. I usually say a boy who thinks he's a girl or a girl who thinks he's a boy, which is technically what we're talking about here. As far as the actual psychological issues uh, at play, it used to be called gender dysphoria or gender identity disorder. Now they call it gender dysphoria. The idea that, that sex or gender are malleable is not true. Okay, and I'm not denying your humanity if you are a transgender person. I am saying that you are not the sex to which you claim to be. You're still a human being, and you're a human being with an issue that I'm, you know, I wish you Godspeed in, in dealing with in whatever way you see fit. But if you are going to dictate to me that I'm supposed to pretend, I'm supposed to pretend that men are women and women are men, no. My answer is no. I'm not going to, I'm not going to modify basic biology because it threatens your subjective sense of what you are. Okay, but you're still saying these kids should like, not be accepted because they don't really fit in either place? They can't just like... I'm saying that the Boy Scouts have a standard. You must be a biological boy to be a Boy Scout. You have to be a boy to be a Boy Scout. That written, though? In the name one. Boy Scouts. <laughs> Because because it, because this is because this is a, a very okay, for, because for all of human history, boy meant boy and girl meant girl. Boy did not mean girl. And if I call you a moose, are you suddenly a moose? Okay. If I redefine our terms, no. It's a, yes. That's right. Men and women are a completely different thing. This is true. Have you ever met a man or a woman? They're completely different. You can't say you're a cat. It's not a thing. It's genders. It's not saying you're Okay, why, why is that? I don't understand. Why? Okay, let me ask you this. How, uh, okay, I won't ask you how old. I will ask you how old you are, okay? Because you're young enough that it's probably not insulting to ask you. So, I'm 22, so I'm probably naive, right? No, why aren't you 60? Why aren't you 60? Why can't you identify as 60? Why, what, what is the problem with you identifying as 60? <laughs> you're right. Age is significantly less important than gender. You can't magically change your gender. You can't magically change your sex. You can't magically change your age. But you think it doesn't impact their identity at all or their depression or how they feel about themselves? I think the idea that you're going to sacrifice the entire society's proper definition of sex because you think that there is a, a in, in legal terms, somebody with an eggshell skull, meaning that somebody who has a pre-existing condition that makes them more susceptible to criticism, that that is not a way to run a society. You can't sacrifice truth because some people are going to actually suffer because of the truth. Yeah.